Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Let's 100% rather. It's never gonna happen. I'm never gonna remember to say that. In the last episode, we were doing this quest right about here. The Elven Maiden, Methrandel, contacted me. She says that this whole job was just a setup to flush out the informant, a dark elf named Mirvrina Arano. They didn't see fit to let me in on the plan, though. She has specific instructions from Armand to plant the bust in Mirvrina's cupboard. Then I have to find Hieronymus Lex and snitch on her. But before we do that... Before we do that, I'm very proud to say that I've been making more of an effort to read comments lately. Uh, a lot of people said that early on in my 100% playthrough of um, Skyrim, that I wasn't listening to comments enough. And I have to say that, that that was true. That was true. I made a point to sort of not read comments for a while just because I felt like it made my Let's Plays better if I didn't read some of the comments. It just felt like, you know, some of them were always about missing a chest or two and no one really understands that's never the point of my let's plays is that we get every single chest i've mentioned this before i think this is where we're trying to go to yeah um so yeah at the beginning of my last 100 percent let's play i did not read comments as much as i usually did that has changed though um since then since about i want to say like halfway through um the Skyrim 100% Let's Play, I started implementing a system where every single morning I wake up and I read two full pages of YouTube comments. And that usually barely scratches the surface, but it's really all I can muster in this day and age. Um, my, my time is very scheduled and I just don't have enough time to read more than that. Uh, but usually I'll check in maybe later on in the day and read some more. Anyways, the point is that uh, I'm reading much more of your comments these days and usually they're very, very helpful. And two of the main comments uh, involved, well, one of them involved this place right over here, and if we go back here, there should be something, let's take a look, shall we, if we go back to, so this is where we were doing the, um, forget what it was called, but the quest with Agamir, of course, here lies Rolgarel, and there's Agamir, and we took Agamir's debaser, but we want to head back to where this, uh, sarcophagus is opened up, and there should be something back here somewhere, Lord Belarus Trentius, let's put that away, I think we have to... I think it might be behind. Let's try to see if we can see something. Do we see anything? There's nothing over here to the left, it looks like. But it, maybe it's maybe it's to the right? I thought this was going to be easier. I can't tell if it's in there or if it's down here within the actual sarcophagus. I think it might be in here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'm going to have to figure this out. And I will get back to you guys once I do. Ah, okay, ladies and gentlemen, I was looking at some other busts, um, or some other sarcophagi, and I was guessing it would be one of the ones that were lighted, and indeed, if we head over here to Caliban Trentius's sarcophagus, look at this, can you guys see that? Take a look at that. Okay, we need to grab that, but it's gonna be a little bit tricky, there we go. So what that is, ladies and gentlemen, is an actual unique mace here. Caliban's Grim Retort. Blunt one-handed. Absorb Blunt 8 points for 20 seconds on strike. Absorb Strength 5 points for 20 seconds on strike. And that's basically just absorbing those attributes. And then Frost Damage 10 points on strike. And it has 70 uses. Uh, not bad at all. Too bad we're not using maces. But you can see it's like 3,000 gold. So we can make a pretty penny. But it is a unique weapon. So we will not be selling it. But we need to get that anyways. Now I know that I have played a playthrough of the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, where I have gotten and retrieved every single unique weapon that I possibly could have. But, I don't remember this one whatsoever, Caliban's Grim Retort. I don't remember it, and clearly I either completely forgot, or didn't even know when I went into that mausoleum. So, first of all, I want to thank everybody who commented about that. There were a lot of comments about that mace, and I just... I. Like I said, I must have gotten it at some point, because I looked up, you know, lists before I was ever a YouTuber. Uh, where every unique weapon was in Oblivion because I wanted to complete my collection. But that one I'm just forgetting. I don't remember whatsoever. Okay, and the other comment, ladies and gentlemen, was about... Uh, and I wonder if we still have the Macabre Manifest. I feel like we gave it to Thornier. But let's take a look in our books. It's reading rainbow. I don't think we're going to have it. Man, we have a lot of stolen stuff. Go figure. We cannot be caught by the law. Um, yeah, we don't have the Macabre Manifest, but if you guys remember... Oh, we have Searing Flare Tome. Yeah, let's go ahead and add that. And then let's drop this. Well, no. We need to find a place to litter, just like in the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. 
Let's play. Anyways, yeah, if we still had the Bacab Manifest listing all of Agarmir's, uh grave robbing victims, uh, we would have found Olford Gabbings or something like that, which is an anagram of Frodo Baggins, and he had all of the stuff. And I, I did actually know that, but I completely forgot while I was reading it. Uh, yeah, so it was an, an anagram of Frodo Baggins, of course, the titular, well, no, not titular, but the main character in Lord of the Rings, and he actually had all of the same stuff. He had an enchanted sword, and this is not stuff that we can actually find, it's just making reference to it in the book, but he had an enchanted sword with runes on it or something, like Sting. He had an enchanted ring, haha, <laughs> and he had like a elven cloak or something and, and something else. So, yeah, two things I missed, but thank you guys for commenting about them. Um, I appreciate that stuff, and anytime that I do read stuff like that, if it's something significant, I will go Armand back and Christoph? grab it. Have you seen Armand Christoph? No, I have not seen Armand Kristoff, and you gotta stop asking me. Okay, here we have Mirvrina's Arano's house. Mirvrina Arano's house. Let's go ahead and save the game here. Oh, another thing, people say that I can quick load and quick save. I know, I know that I can, but I prefer having legitimate solid saves. Okay, let's try getting in here. My god, the worst part about this is it won't move left or right. There we go. I'm getting better. There we go. First try, see? See, I want to I wanna get good at this, this pickpocketing as soon as possible because I know everyone is going to be on my ass just like they are. And my voice definitely didn't crack there. Uh, that was a trick of the, the light. Yeah. Okay, so here we have Mavrina's cupboard. The bust is in Mavrina's cupboard. Now to tell that windbag Lex where to find it. I like the little flare. We're also going to loot some things here. Oh, she doesn't got shit. I actually don't want to uh, loot Mavrina's stuff just in case she still belongs to the Thieves Guild and it's considered um, stealing from the Thieves Guild and then we'll get kicked out. I like the little flare in the texts. We got to tell that windbag. In Skyrim, it's just very no clear cut. Of Armand Christoph, sir. What do you want? Can't you see I'm in the middle of an investigation? Then what do you think I would want? What would, what would someone coming up to you if you're in the middle of an investigation have on their mind, you silly little boy? Hey, what do you think about the Grey Fox? He's that thief that the Imperial Watch are always going on about. <laughs> he likes to steal from rich folk. Uh-huh, that's all you have to say, huh? He's just a thief. He's supposed to be the head of the Thieves Guild. Oh, <laughs> what a joke. Can you imagine a bunch of thieves trying to form a guild? No! I the can't. nobility hate him, but the peasants and the beggars love him, especially in the waterfront. So you guys can see all of the flaws present in Oblivion Dialogue, because the guy that... <laughs> the number one guy that hates the Grey Fox just kind of gets a, gives a very unbiased viewpoint on him, so that's pretty nice, Hieronymus. Bust of Lathasa Indaris. You know where the bust is hidden? Mavrina Arano has it. Your credibility is suspect. You'll have to do better than that to persuade me. Why wouldn't you just check, you jackass? I'm listening. Okay, unfortunately, we are a Khajiit, and we're gonna have to do this stupid wheel. Let's try the wheel one more time. We'll try to do it fast. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, okay, cool. I accept. I have no choice. Okay. I doubt you really mean that. Blah, blah, blah. So we only gained three what points from that, and it's like, I, ugh, this wheel just pisses me off. I do not like this wheel whatsoever. Let's just bribe him. I appreciate the gesture. What a thought. Can't do better than that. You know where the... Your credibility... Oh my god. Yes. Yeah. This is going to be much more difficult for our character, Darvesh, uh, because he's going to have to bribe everybody. And I don't know how much gold we have, but we're going to have to just bribe him, like, twice more. Thank you. How kind. Every little... Ugh, that was, was so that much one? gold. I think it's going to have to be 70. Usually 70 is the... the, the limit. You know it. Your credibility... Are you serious? You know... Your credibility... What? Take your time. Well, it, wait, his disposition is maxed. What? What are you looking for? Tell me about the guilds. Uh, Tell me about the Imperial yeah. City. Te you, what? Your cre what? Don't worry. We'll get him. I mean, okay. Well, it's 11 p.m. Let's try waiting like 12 hours and let's try waiting 11 hours. I, 
it says his disposition is max, which means we cannot raise his disposition anymore. Now, the one thing that we could try is using a scroll to increase his disposition, which is super lame, and especially after we just spent so much money. Probably gonna have to buy a lot of disposition scrolls. What do you your credibility? Wow. Uh. Well, Please, can we go on? Yeah, we can't. Yeah, we can't even. We can't even do the wheel anymore. That's it. What in the world? This has never happened before. Restore personality two points on touch. Flashbolt. I mean, let's take a look at our journal. The bus is in Mervrina's cupboard now to tell that windbag Lex where to find. Man, being Khajiit is actually really going to suck because I'm pretty sure that's why we're having such a tough time here. Uh, the only thing I can think of is let's travel to the Imperial City Market District where we should be able to purchase a scroll that increases someone's disposition. Um, which would just be so good for real life, wouldn't it? Wow, this is uh, ridiculous. Um, I mean, okay. Let's see. Where are the scrolls? It's like there's like a scroll. Yeah. Edgar's Discount Spells. Always thought that was a really lame kind of name for spell shop. Hi there, Edgar. Edgar Vatrine. You don't want the very best. You want cheap. And I got cheap. And you are weird. Uh, okay. May Let's... I interest you in some of my fine wares? Oh, I thought you would have some scrolls, Edgar. Well, let's see. Do you have any... No, you don't have any sort of, uh... Yeah, you don't have really any sort of, um... What are these you scrolls see, yeah. on the table here, Edgar? I saw some scrolls over here. Minor heal other. Absorb mysticism. Absorb mysticism. Minor heal other. Why, why do you only have minor heal other and absorb mi Oops. Alluring gaze. Mysticism heal other. Huh. Well, there is another magic shop in here. And it should be the staff one. Rindir's staffs. Let's see if he has anything. Hello there. You're in Rindir's staffs. And I'm Rindir. I sell magical staffs. Imagine that. I, yeah? Imagine that. Do you only have staffs, though? Some of my wares? Oh, my God. Wait a second. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Actually, there's not, buddy. There is nothing to suit me. Okay, Easy. let's take a look at some of the other Imperial City shops. I usually never have to buy scrolls because I usually ha uh, play as an Imperial. And I don't have to buy a scroll or anything to make someone like me. Mystic Emporium, that sounds good. But it's locked. Yeah, there's something with the Myst Mystic Emporium that I'm forgetting. Let's wait like three hours. See if anything changes. I feel like this shop is a little bit different from the others, but I can't place why. You can see it's still locked. Huh, what if we try to break in? Okay. Well, I'm kind of, I, I don't even know if this uh, little thing will work. Ah, uh, there we, oh no. I thought it said Stonewall Spells, but I forgot. No, that's Stonewall Shields. Yeah, I don't even know if we can get our hands on a scroll if it will even do anything. Because its disposition is maxed. First edition is a bookstore. Hmm. The main ingredient, alchemy, of course. Red diamond jewelry. The feed bag. Gensine. Three brothers trade goods. Is it just that... Okay, we're going to try one last thing before I just have to go on my own and figure this out. Is it just that the Mystic Emporium only opens up at night? I vaguely remember that, but I just feel like the Mystic Emporium is never opened, and I forget exactly why. Okay, let's head over here. What is it now? Hello there. Oh, hello. Yeah, it's still locked. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, well, I'm going to have to figure out how in the world to bypass this. I have never... It's kind of a divine conundrum. Uh, I have never encountered this issue before, ever. Uh, like I said, I usually play as Imperials, and they have the voice of the Emperor power. And Khajiit just have an inherent uh, people-don't-like-them aspect about them, uh, along with Argonians. So, yeah, let me figure this out, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we did everything right. His dispo uh, disposition does get maxed at 70. So, this is either some sort of glitch, or something that should not be happening 
basically. There is a trick that we could try, though. If we have our weapon drawn while we talk to somebody, their disposition goes down a little bit. What do you want? Can't you see I'm in the middle of an investigation? You know your credibility. All right. So you can see now his disposition is back down to 60. So let's try the persuasion wheel once more. Let's see. No more. You're frightening me. I'm frightening you. Um, okay, we're going to do one of these. I'm not buying that one. Then we're going to do one of these. <sighs> You're pathetic. And these. Yeah, and look, it. we're nowhere. We're nowhere. This posi uh, this disposition wheel doesn't do shit. Okay, let's spend some more gold and just see if this works. Every little bit. Thank you. That will get you something. Wait, now we can go above 70? Every little bit helps. Excellent. You know what? Are you sure? That can't be right. She's my... I mean, she doesn't seem to be the type. It's in her cupboard. I don't believe you. But I'll have to check it out anyway. If you are right, there will be hell to pay. You will have to come along. Okay, that was super odd. And like I said, it's never happened like that. And for some reason, we were able to get his disposition above 70. Whereas... The, oh, that's cool. I've never seen that little... That little animation there. Hey, you what are, are you right. doing? This citizen is accusing you of stealing the bust of Lothasa from Chaden Hall. I even found the bust in your cabinet. What do you have to say? Fool! You've just exposed me to the Thieves Guild! That citizen is actually the guild member that was hired to do the theft. Regrettably, I have no further use for you. If what I heard is true, you are the thief. If what you say is true, the Grey Fox knows you are my informant. Either way, it's over. You didn't really think I'd trust the likes of you for very long. But I've been loyal to you. I've reported everything that Armand has done. You can't just toss me aside like a soiled cloth. Yes, I can. You are under arrest for the theft of the bust of Lathasa and Doris, Countess of Chadenhall. Come with me. Hieronymus Lex found the bust I planted. Now all I have to do is report to Armand. Unfortunately, I'll have to wait until the next midnight for him to return to the Garden of Derloff. Don't ever mess with the Thieves' Guild again, you little bitch. See you later. Have a nice life. And since she's technically not uh, not, no, not no longer a part, since she's technically not a part of the Thieves' Guild anymore, we should be able to have our run of the place, I think. The infamous cupboard with nothing inside but various foodstuffs. The bed. She's got chests. I don't know why, because she's got nothing of value for these chests. Although this one is an easy lock. Damn it. Well, a paintbrush and tongs. Not exactly what I wanted to see, but that's okay. A little bit of light reading. Wonderful. And one more cover to search. Man, you are poor. Who would have thought living in the waterfront district? It's actually quite ironic that people live in the the what people that live in the, the waterfront district are the most poor. Considering it's waterfront property, but, you know. Okay, let's wait. Uh, 10 would be, so 12 hours would be 10 a.m. Oh, wait, so we just need to wait like two hours, right? I wonder if he'll show up here. It said we, we'll have to wait to the next day, but I wonder. Yeah, looks like it. Okay, so if we wait 24 hours, we should be good to go. And yes, as I was saying, um, yeah, that was super weird. I've never... I've never encountered that before. This is the first time I'm going to be doing a big playthrough on Steam, though. Usually, in the past, I've always fired up my Game of the Year edition uh, Xbox 360 version of Oblivion. So, maybe we'll encounter some different bugs than we're used to. A lot of people always say, Vana, if you're not going to install any mods, at least install the, the unofficial patches and all that. No, no, guys. Come on. I've played these games from a young age. Like, I'm aware of the bugs, and they've never really spoiled my... My playthroughs, ever. I, why would I... I'm not gonna... 
all my playthroughs are vanilla. Like, that's just how I like doing things. Big, giant vanilla playthroughs involving all the DLCs without a single mod installed. Um, I don't, I don't want official patches. It doesn't bother me. Like, I've never ran into a game-breaking bug in all my 100% playthroughs of Oblivion. I've never ran into one bug that was just like, shit, I can't move forward now. So, yeah, this, this playthrough will remain unmodded till the very end. Hello there, Armand. With your help, I uncovered the informant that had compromised the Thieves' Guild. I know I used you in this matter with the Lathasa's bust, but I couldn't be certain that you weren't working with Mivrina. Here is the reward you were promised. Even though the bust is gone, you've earned it. I'm also promoting you to the guild rank of Bandit, which will let you use Darji of Leowin as your fence. Good work. Thank you. Tell me about the Grey Fox. We don't talk about him in public. The Thieves' Guild follows the Grey Fox. However, we make sure that most folks think he is just a myth. You can pay your... Still no bounty. The Gilded Carafe. A fine store with a terrible name. Why is the name terrible? Isn't a carafe just a, like a cup, basically? Okay, tell me about some Thieves Guild special jobs. Sadly, I don't have anything for you. I only work with the less experienced guild members. You should go see Scriva in Breville from now on. You can find her at the Lonely Suitor Lodge. I wouldn't recommend bothering her at home unless the door is unlocked. Okay, so we are moving on. Who is Scriva? Are you deaf? Didn't I already tell you she is in Breville? Yeah, but I'm not deaf. I just was inquiring about her. Shut up. I've reached my goal. I have fenced over 200 gold worth of goods. I should go see Scriva sometime. She might have something for me. Oh, hi. Wonderful. So we're already done with that. We are probably going to have to do one or two more collection. <laughs> it's funny. I call them collection. We're probably going to have to do one or two more, um, you know, houses in order to get some gold for future quests. But that's okay, because I actually have a I have a system where I go to uh, certain things to find that I can sell that pretty much knock everything out in one little thing. But before we do that, before we do that, hmm, let us see. So it wants us to go to Breville. There's also Leowin, where our new fence is at. But I'm feeling like we should sack a house. But whose house? That's the question. Hmm. We could go to Coral. Let's head to Coral. Let's let's take in the, the city of Coral and uh, just explore for a little bit. Ah, Coral. I've arrived in Coral, now to find Joffrey at Waynon Priory. Not just yet, though. Not just yet. Okay, let's do a little bit of uh, scoping out some places here. Obviously, we have the big houses, which would be good. If someone's living in a big house, that means that they probably have Greetings. more gold than they know what to do with. And we could liberate them of that issue, couldn't we? But let's head more this way. Hmm. We have some houses here. Yugo Bolette's house. Interesting. It's a hard lock. Let's go ahead and save the game here. Let's head into sneak and let's try this hard lock out. Shouldn't be too difficult. Easy. 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 Boom, baby! See? I'm getting better. As I was saying, yeah, I wanted to, um... I wanted to, uh... Start practicing getting better at that right off the bat. Because I know that would be a large reason why people would get on my back. Okay, we have a chest here. Folded cloth and a pickaxe. Lame. Some drawers. Not much there. A bed. No sign of Yugal, though, which is a very unfortunate name. Come on, man. What's the point of pickpocketing a hard lock if these people don't even have anything of value? Like, seriously, they don't even have anything of value over one so far. 
Some corn? Garbage. I used to just pick up everything when I was trying to get stuff for the Thieves Guild, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, Repair Hammer's not that bad. It doesn't really matter, um, because, y y yeah, it, you're, you're just much better off finding, like, one singular thing that's worth 200 than trying to loot all of this garbage. Wow, you really don't have anything, do you? You have some tongs and some calipers, which is cool, I suppose. And also, Hugo Bolette's basement, which is intriguing me. Let's head inside. Boom. 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 Let's see how long we can keep this streak going. Okay, Yugle. It wasn't supposed to end like this, Yugle, but no one can see me down here. I'm sorry. By the nine divines, assault! Assault! Yugle! Oh, wow! Wait a second, this guy is Mystic Dawn? The time of cleansing is over oh my god, hold on, Yugle. I didn't realize you were going to be this tough. Okay. You're going to have to give me one second, Yugle. I need to use some potions here. Yeah, we have a ton of potions. If I remember right, there is a limit in Oblivion uh, to how many potions you can drink right off the bat. Lord. Yeah, we really need a dagger, and I know we have one. The time of cleansing is almost here. The time of cleansing is almost here. Fall, Yugle! Fall, Yugle! Your killing has been observed by forces unknown. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I guess our character knows that on some base level. Now, that that's what I was trying to accomplish, and luckily we picked the perfect target. Uh, we'll talk more about this in the future, but... Yes, I didn't realize. A lot of these people, they'll come out of their houses, and they, I don't know if Yugal Bolet does this, but he was a secret mythic Don. He was a secret member of that force that killed the Emperor in the beginning of the in the beginning of the game. And I wish I could tell you guys that I knew that, but I didn't. I was kind of trying to set up something where we were sneaking inside someone's house to try and loot stuff, and someone catches us, and that's perfectly exactly what happened. And yeah, our killing has been observed by forces unknown, which is quite interesting. Quite interesting indeed. What do you have here, Ulit? Need something from your body. Mythic Dawn commentary is perfect. A key and some gold. Wait a second. He has Mythic Dawn commentaries. Huh. I wonder if that will help us out further down the line. Your conjuration skill increased. Wonderful. We also got a level up in the... Uh, in the craziness. Okay, well, we came here to loot, so let's loot, shall we? Even though Yugle doesn't seem to have much. Just some random sacks. Although, this is a secret little, uh... Little sanctum he's built for himself down here. I... I'm so glad that this worked out like this. This was not my... Oh, man! Wow! I don't think I've ever been in Yugle Bolette's house. Again, it, it's, it's hard remembering exactly what I've done. It's been a very long time since I've played Oblivion. Maybe since the last... Yeah, maybe. Wow. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we've got some stuff here. This weighs 22, though, so we're better off taking half the value. And that. What else do you have here, Yugle? You have some various skulls. What? This is so cool. Okay, mysticism. Let's go ahead and take that. And you have a novice alembic. Thank you very much. A novice retort. Mythic dawn robes. He's got a novice mortar and pestle. And a novice calcinator, which is all of the things that we need to make some nice alchemy. A jewelry box. Perfect. What else do you have? Some random bones. Every Mythic Dawn person has to have some random bones, of course. Destruction skill increase. And this is Mythic Dawn commentaries number two. Interesting. The Book of Daedra. Darkest Darkness. What else do you have? Fundamentals of Alchemy. I think this never gives you an alchemy point, which was always pretty ironic to me. Gods and worship. A weight and not much else. Oh, I didn't want to take that quill. Oh, well. And finally, one last chest that's very easy. And indeed, it is very easy. With some gold. 
Okay, last thing we're going to do in this episode, ladies and gentlemen. What's down there? It's just a brick. Is we're going to try to sleep in Eugle's bed. Now, I don't think that's going to work out like that. Oh, man. I, I'm, I, I know I shouldn't even speak to it. I should just let you guys ruminate on what we've done in this episode. But... Damn it. But... I'm so happy that this worked out like this. We found a secret Mythic Dawn person. While also... Having what we just did. Um, having that being observed. Oh my god. I, I I feel like sometimes my my words, my, 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 my mouth speak gets worse and worse. As I've said before. But anyways, no. I, I, it's, it's good. What we did is good. Oh my god. I'm sounding like a complete idiot. The oak and crossier or crossier. I don't know how to pronounce that. But we're going to head inside here. Uh, anyways, yeah. I, it, it, it's perfect what just happened. And I wish I could say that I planned it like that. But I didn't. Is there nobody here? This is an inn, isn't it? Actually, it kind of seems like a brewery. Is this not an inn? There should always be someone. Uh, yeah, there, there are doors that are locked. But there should be somebody if it's an inn. Let's wait, uh, let's wait about five, six hours. And I didn't think it would work either if the guy was actually uh, a bad guy, which he was. But it seems like it did. Hi there. Hi. Welcome to the Oak Encrosier. This one is Talisma, your hostess. Our rooms and food are at your disposal. I'd like a bed. There's one available for the night. If you're interested, it'll be ten gold. What do you say? I'll take it. The room is upstairs. First door to the left. Sleep well. Thank you. I've been up quite a bit, and I could use some rest. As well as a level up. And maybe something. Okay, here's our room. You guys know how this goes. Every time we rest in an inn, we're going to search everything. Nothing in the drawers. Sneak skill increased. Wonderful. Anything over here? Some pictures not worth much. And in the shelf, some calipers. Excellent. Okay, let's take a well-deserved nap. It's 11.54 a.m. 12 hours would be p.m. 24 hours would be 12. Let's wait. Uh, 24 would be 12. 11, 10, 9, 8. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's quite odd. You've ascended to level 4. The air grows chill and a shadow approaches. Well, he's going to have to wait. You've done things the hard way, but without taking risks, taking responsibility for failure, how could you have understood? Again, we have agility and speed and personality and willpower. We're going to go for personality again just because that will help us out far more than willpower. You sleep rather soundly for a murderer. That's good. You'll need a clear conscience for what I'm about to propose. Explain yourself. Now. In due time, dear child. In due time. First, an introduction. I am Lucian Lachance, speaker for the Dark Brotherhood. And you. You are a cold-blooded killer, capable of taking life without mercy or remorse. The Night Mother has been watching, and she is most pleased. And so, here I am. I come to you with an offering, an opportunity to join our rather unique family. I'm listening. Then heed my words, for I will not repeat them. On the green road to the north of Breville lies the Inn of Ill Omen. There you will find a man named Rufio. Kill him. And your initiation into the Dark Brotherhood will be complete. Do this, and the next time you sleep in a location I deem secure, I will reveal myself once more, bearing the love of your new family. Rufio will die by my hand. Excellent. Now please, accept this token from the Dark Brotherhood. It is a virgin blade and thirsts for blood. May it serve your endeavors well. Now, I bid you farewell. I...
do hope we'll meet again soon. Have you not heard of the Dark Brotherhood? Of the remorseless guild of paid assassins and homicidal cutthroats? Join us, and you'll find the Dark Brotherhood to be all that and so much more. We are, more than anything, a union of like-minded individuals. We kill for profit, for enjoyment, and for the glory of the dread father Sithis. We are family, with bonds forged in blood and death. We praise our unholy matron. From Who is Rufio? Know that Rufio is old and weak and sleeps his days away. You could kill him before he even has a chance to wake, if you so choose. Yes, I... One of my duty. Your path is clear. Send Rufio to his death, and the Dark Brotherhood will embrace you as family. Very interesting. <laughs>